and welcome to this week's episode of Mama Biz TV. I'm Desiree Wolf, your Rebel Mompreneur Marketing Mentor. And this week, we are chatting about when it's time to ditch that social media platform or just completely ignore the brand new ones altogether. Yes, I am talking about the latest and greatest, hottest fad that is out there right now, which is Periscope. I'm going to tell you why I'm choosing to jump off the Periscope bandwagon. Yes, indeed, ladies. Now, if you're not familiar with Periscope, it's actually a, um, a pretty cool app. It's a new video app um, that actually allows you to do live feed. And there's our little broadster that just walked by. Um, the, the app is Periscope, and let me see. I'm gonna show you what the app looks like right here on my phone. Um, it's got this live feed that shows up on your phone. I don't know if you can see that. Um, and what happens is you get to do this live broadcast and everybody's watching and it's connected to your Twitter account. So if you're not using Twitter, a lot of people are finding this intimidating. Well, I don't have a Twitter account. And the weird thing is, is that your Twitter launches your Periscope, but you can have two different screen names. So it gets a little confusing. But anyways, I'm not going to go into that. What I'm talking about is this live feed feature. And lots of experts and coaches are using it to do Q&A sessions. Um, they might be talking about, um, I've even seen some cool guided meditations. So people who aren't sure, you know, they want their, their morning meditation with their coffee, they can jump on a live guided meditation. I've seen people in the direct sales industry doing live party presentations. Another cool idea is behind the scenes look at your businesses. So if you're doing video, um, you could be doing setup at an event, you could be doing uh, what it looks like when you're filming, all this kind of stuff. There's a lot of cool stuff. Denise Duffield Tom. Uh, who I absolutely adore. She's the author of Get Rich, Lucky Bitch. She's currently using it right now to connect with her audience to build up excitement for her Lucky Bitch Bootcamp. So there's tons of cool ways to use it and I'm not saying by any means that it sucks because it doesn't. It's a really great tool and I think it could really benefit your business. But, there's a but, um, it's not for me. So here's why. I bet you're asking, Desiree, if it's so freaking cool, then why are you leaving? Well, I tried it. Um, I tried it three times, actually. The first time, it was very off the cuff. I got a practice trying to do this. And I did what I thought I was going to do um, was my evening wine with Desiree chats about business. Um, they totally bombed, and they didn't bomb by means of nobody paid attention to me because I actually had some great feedback, especially on the first one. But that's not why I'm quitting. Uh, people were giving me hearts, which means they were liking me. It bombed for one because the app eats up a shit ton of bandwidth in my house. And I don't know if that's just an area issue or if it's uh, an issue that um, a lot of other people are dealing with. And I've heard other people say they just can't get the app to run. So I think that might be it. And hey, if I'm going to be teaching you internet marketing and how to grow your business online, I better make sure that I'm using tools that actually work with the internet, right? So that's reason number one that I'm jumping off the bandwagon. The technology just doesn't work for me. For whatever reason, uh, Periscope doesn't like the internet that's in my house. And so the feed's constantly freezing and it really just makes me look kind of like, you know, like a bumbling idiot. Reason number two of why I'm ditching Periscope is because it's causing strategy overwhelm and it's making um, me have this shiny object syndrome and I'm getting really distracted from what I set out to do. And that's to create videos just like this to help you build your business. Periscope, yes, is great. It's live feed, but I found it to be very distracting and it's a different type of content that I was trying to spend a lot of time trying to craft and it just felt like it was very forced. It felt like I was jumping on the bandwagon just to be cool because if I'm going to teach you um, internet marketing and, and email email marketing and how to grow your business online that I better learn how to do the latest and greatest. But the problem is, is that I wasn't using it efficiently and I was taking away from my time of doing things that I really love doing, like creating videos and writing blog content for you to try and figure out how to do it. And I'm not saying that I don't want you to ever learn, but I don't want you to get distracted. That's the big thing. If something is distracting you from creating 
um, you know, uh, uh, not from creating, but from being productive, then I want you to stop doing it. Learn how to do it when you shouldn't be working or learn how to do it um, another time. So here's the thing. This app is it's just like when Facebook came out. It's just like when Twitter was hot. Every time a new social media app or platform hits the scene, coaches and mentors start telling us, you've got to be using this. This is it. This is the next big thing. You need to jump on this or your business is going to fail. Well, that's number one shitty advice. Your business isn't going to fail because you didn't do a Periscope live feed. The problem with this reasoning is most of us are just getting used to mastering one social media platform, whether that's Facebook or Twitter or YouTube videos. We jump on board with the next one before we've got the other one under control. So now guess what? Now your audience on the first one, all that work that you did is now going down the toilet because you're trying so hard to focus on this new shiny object before you mastered the last one. I certainly believe that you should absolutely 100% have multiple avenues of connecting with your audience, whether that's your blog, email marketing, whether it's Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, um, or even Periscope or any, you know, Snapchat, Instagram, those are all great tools. But here's a news flash. You don't have to use every single one of them. First thing is find out where your audience is hanging out. Second thing is use the platforms that you enjoy and that you like doing. If you like blogging, fucking blog. If you really enjoy doing videos, do videos, do YouTube, do your Periscope, do webinars, do them, but stick to a couple things and don't feel like you have to be all over the place because then what ends up happening is you're going to water down your authority and people are going to get confused on where to find you. You do not need to be everywhere, okay? So now that I've got that out of the way, I want you to pick your favorite social media platform, no more than three, and I want you to rock the shit out of it. So if you love using Instagram, use Instagram. Make sure you pick a couple of hashtags. That's my little tip. Once you've done that, then you can move on to the new shiny object thing. Follow some of the leaders in your industry for a little while to see what they're doing and to see what works. And then kind of play with it a little bit more to see if it's something that you're even interested in doing. The key is here, I don't want you to stress out about feeling like you have to be everywhere. You don't. You don't have to be everywhere. Jack Canfield is not everywhere. Jack Canfield hasn't done a periscope that I know of. Oprah doesn't do a periscope that I know of. Think of Marie Forleo though. She has dominated YouTube and blogging just to, sure she's on Facebook and Twitter and those things help support the YouTube and the blogging, but she's not trying to do everything and be the master at it. So don't feel like that you have to rock all of those social media platforms. Take out the stress and just do a couple of them that you really enjoy doing. Got it? All right, mamas, be a badass. Until next time, I'm Desiree Wolf. Leave your comments in the space below and tell me which social media platforms you absolutely love and which one is kicking ass for your business. And don't feel bad if it's Periscope. Go ahead and put that down. I'd love to see people rocking the shit out of Periscope. I just happen to know that it felt made me feel overwhelmed and I don't wanna force myself to do anything in business that makes me feel shitty. All right, love you, bye.